In this episode, I would like to break down how crew outplayed themselves with their own utility against Navi in the VCT lock-in. Welcome everyone to Lotus Lab, another episode, 42 I think. Uh, we're going to break down two rounds from uh, the yesterday's match between Crew and Navi and the concept of pressure. Pressure is something that you can already watch on my Lotus Lab playlist. If you're going to scroll down, it's the third video from the bottom. Uh, it has a Play-Doh in the thumbnail. Uh, it's about how your own utility funnels players into certain positions. So now we're going to take a look on this round, you're going to see that Crew has a, a low buy, but it also played the Killjoy on the C side. And now, look at this. This one way over here, and the fact that they play a Marshal from Long C, creates a lot of pressure for the opponents to not go into this direction, right? When you see a one way, you are typically are like, yeah, oh, we're just going to chill. We're not going to push into this. We're not going to do anything uh, when it comes to the way that we play. Um, we played the game in this area because we don't want to end by over peaking. And it's very important to understand that this utility now will push the people away. So it creates the pressure in this spot to make the players go into the different direction, right? So we're going to play it around. We'll see how it goes further down. Now the Omen gets spotted. He's going to TP out again. He hears the players on B. Now there's a lot of utility being used by Navi to reclaim this place. And the place on C, the two players from crew, including a Killjoy, are now playing on site. And they want the opponents to go into them, right? Specifically also because the Neon starts rotating towards C to help them. So they will create a stack on an eco buy. In an ideal scenario, you want the opponents to go into a stack, but unfortunately now the Omen, by using another piece of his utility right here, will create enough of pressure for the opponents to not consider pushing into Seaside because of the smoke. So now the problem is you will have three players on the Seaside, look at the position of the Neon in a few seconds, she's just gonna go into C, and now they have majority of the team playing on the side that has also the majority of the smokes in the same, uh, sorry, majority of the utility in the same spot, and that will push the, the attackers away from that position instead of luring them in, right? So the pressure just pushes them away into different positions, and it will push them into the A side because of that. Now, if you want to make traps like that, you need to think the other way around. So what you want to achieve is you're going to create the pressure from the other players on A and B, and maybe the Omen will create a one-way on A side or create a defensive smoke on the B side to make sure that the players are not going into B and A, but instead are going to be lured into C into the stack. And that's how you want to follow that logic of using your own utility, specifically also when you have Sentinels, right? Uh, like Killjoy with Nano Swarms in a full buy round. And we're going to take a look into the next round because it's going to be a very similar story. And essentially, Navi will exploit that, although I'm not certain how much of a read was it being made by Angel there, but the, the outcome of the round was correct accordingly to what we have seen on the minimap. And we're going to... Just gonna see that the A push was completely free. There was no one on site because the entire uh, entire team uh, from the defenders was essentially on C and they planned on playing retake on A. So against the slow buy, that's essentially like a should be a semi-easy round for the attackers. Now we're gonna follow to the next round and we'll see gonna we're gonna see a very similar story to the previous round. Now crew is gonna fully set up on the C side, right? There's a Sentinel over here with two Nano Swarms and a turret deep position on the turret. Pay attention to the turret. This alerts the Killjoy the moment players are entering the site. So when players are literally breaking the barrier, um, a barrier position, those Nano Swarms get popped and Sentinel gets a lot of value from his utility. But if they are never letting the, the players go to go on C, that Killjoy will not have value. So let's take a look what's happening in this round. Beginning of the round, we have a lot of utility being used to gather the space on A side and Neon is posted on long. Now, the B player, the Omen, hears the potential push on the C. But unfortunately, before that push will happen, 
The players from the rotating doors will just open it and create again a lot of pressure. Look, the paranoia over here, the flash from the breach will push the players away. And Navi are just gonna bail because why on earth would you want to fight that when you are not prepped to be in good position because you are just literally, uh, literally in a in the wrong spot of the map if you're being sorry you're just being surprised by the amount of utility that your opponents are doing so you're never fighting in this spot right so again the pressure pushes them away into the direction of b and a instead of c and now there's going to be another problem look look at the position of 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 omen right here you have a player stationed in the corner right and the problem is that by stationing, being stationed in this corner, you essentially nullify the utility from the Killjoy. Like, there's nothing here. There's that the, the Killjoy utility is pointless just because of the Omen's position. And because of that, you're going to have a problem. You're going to have to make a decision. What do we do? Is the Omen now going to flank? And if he's flanking, do we recall the Sentinel utility and reposition to be on A? Or the omen goes back to site and anchors and the killer rotates. Because you're not going to have time for the omen to rotate the entire map. So, the thing is, by doing that push, that pressure push from the rotating doors, now crew will essentially not have a sentinel. See the rotation? Killjoy and race rotate over whilst omen stays as an anchor on C. But that wasn't his position to be in. And Navi just used utility to gather a space. They faked it, and they go back to C. And then essentially crew outplayed themselves, because now the Killjoy is completely in an unknown position, in, uh, in, in, in spawn, with no utility being set up. And the only way she can pop the mollies is because of the omen, is an anchor. Side gather for free. And that's all because... That's all because crew didn't play with their own utility correctly and they didn't allow the sentinel to get value because of the pressure created by other players by playing aggressively on her lane and that's basically it if you want to learn more about the pressure concept i would urge you to watch the video that i already have in my playlist it's the third one on the bottom if you go to my playlist this is the uh Lotus Lab, you have all the episodes here, but at the bottom you have three guides. How to use smokes, war smoke and valorant, and the pressure. All three are focusing on the usage of smokes. So if you want to learn more about that, I urge you, urge you to watch this. Thank you very much and see you guys around.